In this video, we will be teaching you how to perform a titration. A titration is a way of determining the concentration of an analyte. For the purpose of this video, we will be calculating the concentration of a citric acid in a commercial soda. In this experiment, our titrant is sodium hydroxide. Our analyte is a clear commercial soda. We will start off with a known volume of analyte, 15 milliliters. Before you begin the titration, you must make sure your burette is primed. To do this, rinse the burette with water three times and then with the titrant three times. Add the analyte and one to two drops of indicator solution to an Erlenmeyer flask. To begin, we will perform a sloppy titration in order to find a rough estimate of how much sodium hydroxide will be needed to reach an endpoint. In order to calculate the concentration of citric acid in the soda, we must determine the volume of sodium hydroxide it takes to neutralize the soda solution. Make sure the valve on the burette is shut, then fill the burette with your titrant. Record the initial volume of the titrant to two decimal places. In this case, our initial volume is 4.1 milliliters. Place the Erlenmeyer flask underneath the bureau. Open the valve and allow the titrant to flow into the Erlenmeyer flask. It is important to continuously swirl the flask to make sure the solution is well mixed. You will know when the titration is near completion when you start to see color change. In this case, the indicator solution will turn the solution light pink when it reaches an endpoint. To calculate the total volume used in the titration, subtract the initial volume from the final volume and record. Because this is a sloppy titration, this is a rough estimate of how much titrant will actually be used. In this case, the volume is about 23.8 milliliters. Now that a rough estimate has been calculated, it is time to perform the real titration to determine the actual volume of titrant needed to neutralize the animal. In this trial, our initial volume is 4.20 milliliters. Repeat the steps taken to perform the sloppy titration, including preparing the flask, filling the burette, recording the initial volume, and releasing the valve to allow titrant to flow into the flask. This time, however, when the volume being added approaches the estimated volume needed, we will slow to a dropwise addition of titrant. To perform the dropwise addition, we will add the NaOH one drop at a time in order to determine the exact moment when the solution reaches the end point. When the solution turns light pink and holds its color for 10 seconds, record the final volume, which in this case is 29.70 milliliters. Calculate the total volume of titrant added to the flask. Our total volume is 25.50 milliliters. For higher accuracy, repeat the process. In this trial, our initial volume is 4.30 milliliters.
Our final volume is 28.30 milliliters. And our total volume used is 24.00 milliliters. In order to determine the concentration of an analyte, some basic calculations must be done. For example, in our experiment, we know the volume of soda, the volume of sodium hydroxide used, and the concentration of sodium hydroxide. We can calculate the moles of sodium hydroxide used by multiplying the volume in liters by the concentration. Then we can use the mole ratio in the balanced equation to calculate the moles of citric acid that were in the soda. Divide this by the volume in liters of the soda to obtain the concentration of citric acid in the soda.